No, no I've, I've read the law. Yes. I said. Not from I'll no, show you a video of the police. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Same thing. Yeah. Trying to stop me. Yeah. And they walked off. So what's the without law? Warning, what's, what's your without warning, what's your understanding? I'm a sovereign. I am a sovereign. As of 2010, the Southern Poverty Law Center estimated that there were about 100,000 hardcore sovereign citizens. Another 200,000 have attempted sovereign citizen arguments against things like traffic tickets and taxes. Although their beliefs are completely illegitimate and born out of anti-Semitic racism, they are a disruptive and growing force within the United States. That group is associated with what's often called the We the People movement, known for its controversial interpretation of the Constitution. The movement was originally started by a 1960s Christian white supremacist group called Posse Comitatus. One of their core beliefs is that the United States is controlled by a global Jewish conspiracy. In order to distance themselves from supporting this government while still continuing to live within the U.S., they developed the belief that they are not subject to federal laws. One of the simplest arguments against sovereign citizens is that the Constitution, and by extension the federal government, has express authority over citizens of the United States. This is according to Article 6 of the Constitution, known as the Supremacy Clause. Those who renounce their citizenship must do it in a foreign country and in front of a U.S. diplomat or consular. They cannot simply declare themselves sovereign while continuing to live in the United States. But then such people should not live within society. She should not expect any of the benefits that come from this system of governance, including her security, medical care, other benefits, law and home affairs minister K. Shanmugam, Singapore. All of you, the system that knows so much, you decide what's right or wrong. The group is most known for pioneering techniques known as paper terrorism. I heard the term paper terrorism. It's the filing of legal actions against public servants to get back at them for locking up or prosecuting one of their own. Sovereign Citizens Movement has some pretty bizarre core beliefs, one of which is that the U.S. Treasury secretly maintains a secret bank account in the name of every citizen, and that you can do legal filings to get the U.S. government to pay off your debts for you using the secret bank account in your name. They call it the redemption theory or the straw man theory, and it's all fairly outlandish. Obviously, it's not illegal to believe something entirely crazy and wacky, but it is illegal to actually hold seminars and trick people into paying you so they could take advantage of this financial theory that doesn't exist. There's no such thing as the redemption theory. There's no such thing as the straw man theory. It's all just goofy stuff designed to separate suckers from their money. This includes filing frivolous lawsuits, fake reports of tax evasion on government officials, and similar false documents. This forces their victims to spend time and money responding to these illegitimate claims, which sometimes even leads to bankruptcy. Stephen Byfield was sentenced to 22 years in prison. He is one of nine people who were indicted by a statewide grand jury. It claimed they filed liens and other actions against public officials, calling them domestic enemies of the people. Among those named as the targets of the paperwork was Boulder DA Stan Garnett, Boulder Sheriff Joe Pelly, and former Denver DA Mitch Morrissey. 
Eric Brandt was not indicted, but was named as a member of the enterprise to influence public servants. He was in the courtroom for Byfield sentencing. This is a gross miscarriage of justice. I've never witnessed him doing anything other than witnessing things and teaching people. The Colorado Attorney General's office is prosecuting the nine people that were part of what's also known as the People's Grand Jury of Colorado. Byfield's twin sister says her brother is not the man she knew. He's been obsessed. I mean, it's like they've taken his mind over. And when you can talk to him when he's not talking the Constitution and law, he's the same brother that I've had all those years. Everybody is awful these days. It's enough to make anyone crazy.